This is Sasha from Women's Fight News, sponsored by Champions Memorabilia. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. This Saturday, the 21st of May, Chantel Cameron takes on Victoria Bustos. Chantel Cameron, the reigning world champion, still undefeated with 15 wins and 8 KOs. Now, this wasn't the fight that I think as fans we were all expecting. Of course, last year, the road to undisputed tournament had started and we had Chantel Cameron versus Mary McGee. Of course, Chantel Cameron comes through that with a unanimous decision. A few months later, Callie Reese, Jessica Kamara, it's their turn in the ring and Callie Reese comes through a fantastic fight and she wins with a split decision. Now, I must say, the Chantal Cameron Mary McGee fight that ended up headlining in London. It was a fantastic fight. If you look at the scorecards, Chantal virtually wins every round, which was right and fair on the night. But it wasn't necessarily that one sided. Mary McGee 100% played her part. The rounds were epic every single round. The pace was so fast, fantastic skill. And it was a really good platform for Chantal to show what she's made of. Another fantastic fight. As you can see, they're both beat up there. It was Callie Reese, Jessica Kamara. It was such a close fight. The fans had it going either way. In all fairness, if there wasn't a tournament style, I think we probably would have seen a rematch. So there's no saying that Jessica can't come back and fight the winner because it was a fantastic fight and it was very difficult to call. Now, with things going on in Callie Reese's end, that fight isn't taking place next. So, obviously, we've got the Victoria fight, but Callie has assured us that fight is 100% happening just a little bit later than expected. Now, Victoria is no pushover either. Another very, very experienced fighter. As we can see, she's got 23 wins to her six losses. Now, she's registered no KOs, but she's also not been KO'd herself. She's very durable again, but a tough opponent. As we can see, she has been in with some of the world's best. So don't, don't let them six losses fool you. She's been in with Erica Farias, Katie Taylor, Cecilia Brackhouse. You know, we are talking about some of the world's greatest fighters, especially Katie Taylor, pound for pound. Cecilia Brackhouse back in 2019 was pound for pound. So Victoria in her own right is a tough tough fight and this is definitely a difficult fight in this mentally more than anything I think for Chantel obviously she's got that next fight she's got that undisputed fight it just can't happen right now and Chantel has said herself she is not looking past Victoria and she's coming in with so much to gain and Chantel is going in with so much to lose she loses this fight and that undisputed fight has vanished so this is a big big fight for Chantal Cameron because this is a fight that she wants she wants that undisputed fight she's Chantal has been crying out for years for these big fights these big opportunities she calls Katie Taylor out all the time and just gets ignored that undisputed fight and her beating Callie Reese and her holding all the belts will be in my opinion the first step to getting what she deserves which are these big fights on these big platforms but like I say, you can't look past Victoria. It's going to be a tough night in the office, I think. However, Chantel will come through the fight. I actually believe we will see a stoppage. I think we will see Victoria stop for the first time because I believe Chantel is out to make a statement. So in my opinion, Chantel Cameron wins with a late stoppage.